Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another day on Elm Creek and uh, another vlog. So a couple of updates before we start with the day's work, which I am very excited about, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, so the chickens were delivered yesterday and the delivery guy was able to help me actually with uh, the uh, putting the food in here, which is it seems like it's going to go pretty quick. He does think that. We do have a lot, but it's not going to be enough to last super long. So we do need to get going with actually creating a field and figuring figuring out how to feed the chickens for, you know, for the future. So that brings me to, well, we've already got a couple of eggs there. So what I might do is I'd either, because the, the farmer's market is so close. Uh, I'm probably going to sell to the farmer's market on a very, fairly regular basis. And then while we build up, so some of them, so like the loose eggs, uh, you know, from a day-to-day -day basis, I'll try and put in this and then whatever's, you know, whatever I feel like I can, I'll just sell that straight to the farmer's market, you know, on a more regular basis. And then we'll build up a little bit of a, a buffer, essentially, and then sell that as we move along. So the plan is I'm going to start making a field here today uh, because it is October is the last month in which we can plant wheat bul bulgur, bul bul whatever. <laughs> and I would like to get that done so that we can use that next year to feed the chickens. We will need to buy some implements and we will need to buy some food in the coming year but that is at least a good way to look at it so i think i see a pole there in the in the bushes so i think this is where yes this is the barrier okay cool um so this pole here indicates the end of our field so oh man it would have been so nice to have that extra bit maybe i could in the future buy that extra bit but for now this is this is good. This will be a plenty, to, you know, big, plenty big for what we need. And then I think, oh, there, there's the other pole. Cool. So we do have across the river, across the road, we do have that strip as well. I don't know what we are going to or what we can do with this bit. Probably not a lot, to be honest. Probably not. We might be able to plant some trees here and maybe cut down some trees for some timber and wood and that's another possible income but yeah that might that's a that's a long process again we have to plant the trees and that's going to be a while before before that actually turns into anything uh, of note and then the field probably going to make it all the way to the road and then all the way to the river so that little bit here uh, so we'll probably make it all the way to like i don't know like here and then make this the yard essentially that's that that's what i'm thinking anyway so i've got to get into the tractor and i've got to go and i've called the the guy that has that little like um dealership essentially like the second he sells the second hand stuff so i've i've called him and he still has that cultivator and we're gonna go buy that he only wants two grand for that which is an absolute bummer he did say he's got a couple of new stuff in as well that we can have a look at and then we need a cedar which i've spoken to mike at the dealership and they have an old cedar that they weren't actually gonna sell um but they were going to put it as on like as a display but the display plan kind of fell through so they're now going to sell it so we're going to go have a look at that and potentially buy that sorry guys i know this tractor is super loud <laughs> so you guys probably can't hear me right now but hopefully you can i'm actually going to stop talking so that you know we get there and uh, it's all so good so i'll see you guys when we're at or close to the um second hand we're gonna call them second hand dealership
Could we start a better life? We don't know where it's going, but we ain't going slow. I wanna fall in love tonight. You and I chasing flight. I wanna see the city lights in your eyes. There's a Right here, and so essentially, uh, I need to have a look, and then once I'm happy, uh, he lives here apparently. So said the house just before the yeah, it must be that one then. So I'll then just go to him, and I guess I pay him and go from there. Ooh, there's a is that a sprayer? Yeah, that's a sprayer. That looks like a very homemade sprayer, but. Depending on how much you want for that, that might be worth it. Because we do need a sprayer as well. We might need to get the trailer then as well. I have no idea what how much he wants for the trailer. This might be an expensive day. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, we do need the cultivator. We will need a sprayer. We don't necessarily need that today, but if we can maybe get a combination deal, you know what I mean? Like if we... We tell him we buy all three of these or all two of these. We will not. We'll need to do double trip though. I don't really want to do that. But let's say we buy all three of these. He gives us a discount. Hopefully, like everything looks good. It's fairly freshly painted. He definitely, you know, repainted all of this because there's no. He cleaned it all, which is great. Better than when we bought our tractor, um, which we still need to wash, but. Yeah, it's uh, it all looks very good. It's obviously not a very high cap high capacity. What's that? Two hundred liter drum. Think so. That's a two hundred liter drum. Yeah, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and we don't really need much more than this. Actually, I think the the spread is pretty good. What's that? Two. Yeah, so maybe five meters, maybe six meters, anywhere between like four and six meters spread. That's pretty good. And this will be, what is that, like two, three, four meters-ish. So that's pretty good, to be honest. Working with is, it's, it'll be great. And we can then just all put it all onto the, the trailer. We can use the trailer then as well to transport our eggs and, you know, f uh, feed for the chickens. I think it's worth it. Let me have a chat with him and see. So he wants two grand for the cultivator. Let's see what we can figure out. Maybe we can strike a deal with him and, uh, you know, get a good deal. Get, that would be good. It would be good if we can get a good price and buy all three of those. That will solve, solve a lot of our future problems as well. So, let's have a chat. So, essentially what he wanted was 2k for the cultivated, 2k for the sprayer, and 4k for the trailer. I was able to convince him that if I buy all three of these, he'll come down to 7k. So I've I've paid him that. It brings us down our current income or our finances to, to seven thousand dollars, which is not ideal, but it is we're pretty good to be honest. We've got a trailer we can use to transport products and also to continue with our transport business and maybe achieve a little bit more with that because we've got more space. So we can maybe do more jobs, uh, do jobs faster, etc., etc. We've got the cultivator, which we can now create our field with, which is very important. Obviously, without the cultivator, there is no fields being created. And then we've got the sprayer, which will be great. Can do we can fertilize and we can also herbicide with this. Obviously, we need to clean in between the two. We can't, you know, <laughs> use it at the same time. But we we can fertilize. The fields completely and then afterwards we can um herbicide for for weeds essentially so this is great this is very very good we're moving forward very quickly actually uh we're we're getting a lot of gear i do need to be aware of that um i might not be able to go under the bridge don't know how high the bridge is I don't know how high that is. I'm going to go the other way, which is going to take us a little bit longer, but it's definitely going to be the safer direction to go. 
Um, actually, and we can also now look at um, the cedar. So Mike said that they'll put it outside for me. So whenever I'm free to today, I can go have a look. And I do have uh, the trailer. So if I do like it, might be a, probably not, to be honest. I probably won't be able to fit it on there. But at least I can have a look and then I can come back and pick it up. That would be great. So yeah, I'm going to drive to the dealership, to Clever Motors, have a look at the Cedar. So I'll see you guys there. Could this be what we wanted? Just keep on laughing. We will see what could happen. Oh, I feel like I like um, the colors are good. It's like a mix between the tractor and the trailer. <laughs> I do like that. Uh, obviously the cultivator and the rest is not quite the cultivator and sprayer is not quite in um, in accordance with our you know our colors, but <laughs> uh, it does look good. Um, this is obviously in a very very good condition and yeah it's got the markers got the tiny discs all the discs looks fine the springs looks fine i don't see any rust on this thing uh they did mike did say that they did a uh, spend some time on it and you know essentially restored it because it's a bit of a, a vintage um item to put it in display uh they were going to build a building i'm assuming somewhere here and like uh it's like an almost like a museum thing but uh that kind of fell through the plan fell through so they're not going to be doing that anymore um all right i'll go have a chat with mike and see how much they want for this but it, it is looking good it's storage capacity i have no idea how big these are i'm thinking maybe i don't know like that's 200 it's pretty big maybe maybe 250 combined so i don't know maybe 75 liters per drum i don't know i'll have a chat with mike let's see let's see what he says and how much he wants for it all right so i uh they wanted 5k for it i was able to argue them down to four thousand five hundred dollars for the cedar the, so this is now ours uh we're not going to be able to take it now uh this will not fit on that trailer if it was the only thing on the trailer, then maybe. But yeah, that's not going to fit. Uh, it's actually 540 liters. These drums are deceivingly large. Um, <laughs> it's hard to tell. Like, it's significantly wider than that. And each drum... Yeah, I guess you could probably... Yeah. The shape and the... Yeah, and there's a little bit down there as well. The pipes. I guess it counts the pipe. I don't know. But yeah, 540 liters. That's uh, significantly larger than I thought. Anyway, I'm going to get onto the tractor. Uh, I am on the tractor. And I'm going to drive home. And we're going to get all of this stuff. It's a bit of a ball leg to unload. I have to essentially lift this up. Uh, luckily, the cultivator is heavy um so it tilts the trailer automatically so i can just hook onto that easy and then i have to lift it up to um slide the drum down it's not super heavy so i just slide it down to the edge of the trailer and then that tilts it up essentially so um i'm gonna get all of this stuff unloaded and then get ready to pretty much create our field i'm very excited to start creating the field I'm very just excited to start seeing you know, apart from the chickens, to start seeing our farm take place. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. It's been a good day so far, and it's only, only 20 to 10. We're gonna... The field's probably gonna take a while. I don't know how this tractor will pull the cultivator. It should be okay. It's probably not gonna be very fast, but it should be okay to actually pull the cultivator and create the field. It is, uh... It's a, it's a slow tractor. 21 miles an hour and we're i'm pedal to the metal here this is this is not going to be winning any races soon but it is good enough for what we need right now i don't think we would need much it might struggle with the with the cedar actually it might struggle quite a lot with the cedar <laughs> but 
as long as it can pull it, even if it's three miles an hour, we're going to give it a go. Um, as long as we can. So the only problem, if it's that slow, we might be planting too close, uh, the seeds in too close proximity to each other. But we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out when I get there. I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. So I've got everything off. Uh, that bridge, by the way, was uh, a bit of a close call. I didn't even think of it until I got here. I was uh, until I got just before the bridge. I was like, "Oh no! Slow down! Slow down!" Uh, luckily, it made it through, but it was a very, very close shave, to be honest. Uh, it, yeah, uh, I. It wouldn't have been too much of a problem. I could have just gone around. You know the other way around so it's not too much of a problem I'll just raise that uh i could have gone you know the other way around uh, ryan's farm around so it would would have been fine i would have been able to make it work so i'm thinking like i don't know maybe like here maybe yeah that's good enough let's unfold this see how much space that is yeah i reckon that's good all right i'm gonna have a quick drink from the house i think yeah that's good that should be fine. And we'll just do a straight line there, straight line, and then follow the road. Yeah, it's going to be not a massive field, but it's going to be pretty good for us. It's going to be a great field. I'm going to have some water, and then I'll get the drone, set that up, and then we'll start creating this field.
Oh, what a beautiful field. So I made the field, as you would have seen uh, from the drone footage, that the cultivator, uh, when there was like big clumps of grass, it really struggled to actually uh, get through to the ground because the pins are quite short. And to be honest, I think the cultivator is just a little bit too light for how thick the grass was. So I had to run over a couple of times a, a couple of places a couple of times <laughs> but we got there in the end i spent a little bit of time actually just neatening it out and now we're good to go we're all done so yeah i'm gonna have a quick walk around the field just to make sure that i didn't miss any spots um but it does look pretty darn good let me tell you that uh turn this off i don't really need that on i will go get the the cedar shortly but yeah, I mean, this, I could make this maybe slightly neater. Mm, to be honest, I'm not that worried about that. I'm, I'm going to leave that for now. I'm not too worried. It looks fine. The grass will grow a little bit more. And then this, this line down here, I neatened that out a lot. And then that line over there, I neatened a lot. It's a fairly large field, to be honest. I'm very happy. Very excited to get planting on this. And... Yeah, like this maybe could be a little bit neater, but it's all right. It's fine. It it looks all right. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. Let's uh get into the tractor, and we're gonna drive to pick up our cedar. To we should probably get some seed as well. Mm, I hope we have enough money for seed. I think we do. We should have enough. We should make enough money for seed. We should have enough money for seed, and then maybe. Maybe some fertilizer as well. I don't know. We'll have to have a look. I think. If I'm not mistaken. I feel like I remember Mike saying something about... I don't need to put that on. About the cedar actually taking... Cult, um, cultivator. <laughs> taking fertilizer as well. Solid fertilizer. Although I think because this was grass. We might not need to do that. I don't know. I'll have a chat with Mike. Mike is pretty, he's pretty switched on when it comes to the farming stuff. He knows pretty much. I don't want to say all there is to know, but he knows a lot. So I'll ask either Mike, Jack or Ryan or all three of them and figure out what we need to do regarding fertilizer. I know that there's a certain level of fertilizer that you should be aiming for, but I don't know how many applications that is or does that depend on what kind of fertilizer you use, as in is is liquid fertilizer better or is solid fertilizer better? I have no idea. I think solid fertilizer is cheaper, but yeah, I don't know if it's better for actually, you know, fertilizing the, the field. So I'll have a chat with them. I'll have a chat with Mike first when I'm there um, when because I need to go in to get some seed anyway. So maybe we get some fertilizer depending on what he says and then we'll go from there if I need to you know, buy more fertilizer, or maybe use the sprayer, get some um, some liquid fertilizer. We will need to do a contract job soon, because that is not going to be... Uh, the money we've got currently is going to be gone pretty much by the time I get the seeds and the fertilizer, if I do get any. And, yeah, it's not going to be ideal. we gotta we got to get this, you know, get some money <laughs> quickly, ideally. So, the seed is in there, um, some of them, some of the seed is in there, not all of it. Luckily we have this weight out front, I don't know if it's going to be okay to plow with, but it should be fine I have to plow with, to plant with. Um, we will need to come get the rest of the seed at some point, they were happy to lift it up for me and we were able to put it into the cedar, so we're good to go, we can go, go seed. And then we can, you know, uh, sort everything out. The seed cost us $1,400 for two bags. Uh, Mike seemed to think that that will be plenty. But luckily, when we have the seed, we have the seed, you know. So we don't necessarily need to buy new seed in a while. And yeah, we're pretty good in that sense. So we're going to get get home and pretty much go straight to planting. So I'll see you when we're done with that. I got burning feet from hard asphalt. A voice within me tells.
But this is pretty much it. This is the end right there. And I think... I think we've still got a little bit of seed left. Let me have a look. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've definitely got still quite a lot of seed left, actually. So, that's very good. Very happy. This. Um, so, what I might do, since we... Oh, maybe not drive all over the whole field again. But uh, what I might do is I might give Mike a call and ask him, since we haven't even opened or touched the second bag of seed, if they're willing to take that back. That will save us $700. It's not a lot, but at least it's a little bit. Maybe we can then buy some fertilizer. So, this does not... This... Uh, uh, cedar did not take fertilizer as well. It was just seed, which is fine But that does mean that we will need to fertilize with liquid fertilizer, which we probably only will be able to do I don't know like tomorrow or the day after uh, If I can get a Let me just lower this and I want to unhook it. 
completely. Uh, there we go. Um, and to be honest, I could just turn this off. So, yeah, uh, I will need to do a contract with somebody and get a little bit of money first before we can move any further on because currently our money's not looking good. We've got $1,266. It is not, not great. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. We'll, we'll make it work. And I'm sure there are some contracts. There has been a couple. I've just not taken any because I've been wanting to get all of this stuff done. I might actually just cut the grass over here. And just make this a little bit easier to see and not be a problem. Um, so, yeah. But it's planted, which is great. Great start. Uh, what a day, right? <laughs> Spent all of our money. Uh, but we got the field made and planted or seeded and this will start growing now we'll we'll do some fertilizer in the next coming days and then we'll be sorted i'm very excited i hope you guys are as well thank you for watching have a good one i'll see you all next time